This customer wants to install a Tesla wall connector in their garage. So the first thing I do is remove the wall bracket from the back of the unit. And I found my stud on the wall and I traced out exactly where my wire is gonna come out of the wall into my bracket. The next thing I'll do is I'll drill a hole in the back of the bracket for the wire to come in. And I'll also drill a hole for my lags to mount to the stud. Now on the other side of the wall is where the panel is. On the panel side, the wall connector is gonna be installed approximately like right here on the other side of the wall. So I'm gonna remove a KO and run my 6.2 Romex from the KO down to the low voltage box and then up to my unit. And I'll install a new 60 amp breaker in the panel right there. So I need to drill a hole in the bracket for my Romex connector where the wire comes in. So I'm gonna use this unit bit. Now my connector fits. And I also need to drill two holes for my screws to go in. Now I can mount my unit to the wall. So I marked where my lags are gonna go into the stud and where my wire is gonna come into the unit. And now I'm gonna drill my hole for the wire to come in. Like that. At the panel, I need to remove the knockout in the bottom of the panel where the wire is going to come into the box. So I usually use a flathead screwdriver and my linesman's, and I can just bend the KO just like that. And then I can just wedge it out just like that. So I set my snake down through the KO I just took out and I tied my 6.2 Romex to the snake after catching it at the low voltage box down here. And now I'm gonna push the wire up to the panel. Just like that. And now I'm sending my snake down at the wall connector side and I'll catch it down at that low voltage box. And then I caught the snake at the low voltage box again, tied my wire, and now I'm gonna go pull it back to the actual wall connector. So now I have my wire from my panel box to my wall connector. First thing I do is land the Romex connector to the wire and tighten it. And then I can install the provided screws that Tesla gives you. Now my wire's landed and the two lags are holding the support to the stud. So I stripped the Romex and I taped the white red because it's a power. And then I measured each wire and I'm cutting them to length. And then I'm gonna land them into the lugs right here and then tighten them with the provided Tesla tip. I got my ground and then we'll do the first power just like that. And then the second power, just like that. So after getting all the wires in nice and snug, you can put the zip tie to tighten them into the box. And then the wall connector snaps onto the bracket and you put these four Allen screws, two in the top and two in the bottom to hold it to the bracket. So it snaps on like that, and then you can install the screws to hold it to the bracket. <sighs> Just like that. Mm -hmm. I like to wrap the cord around the unit counterclockwise, and then the end can plug into the side. I installed the three quarter Romex connector, and I taped the white red also because it's a power, and I just landed them both to my new 60 amp breaker. Tighten them. Now I'll put the covers back on and turn the breaker on. I got all the covers reinstalled and I labeled my new breaker Tesla. And now I'm gonna turn it on. Green light shows everything's good. And that's your end result.